In this video, I'm going to solve for the change in enthalpy for the reaction species P breaking down into species X and species W. We are given two equations to solve for the change in enthalpy of this equation. What is different about this uh, particular question is we're not giving, given the enthalpy change of the two uh, equations we need to use, but the energy is included as a term. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull the, the energy out into the delta H form. So we have 30 kilojoules on the product side or 30 kilojoules release, so the change in enthalpy is a negative 30.0 kilojoules for the first one. In the second equation, the change in enthalpy is going to be positive because the energy term is on the reactant side. And I'll cross that out. So now I'm going to start building up equations to get the P becomes X plus W. So I'm going to start with finding one of the equations that has species P in it. So I find that in the second equation, but it's on the incorrect side. So I want to flip the second equation. So P in the gas form is going to produce Z in the gas form plus Y in the gas form. And then I'll create my summary column of the change in enthalpy. So because I flipped the second equation, the change in enthalpy is going to be a negative 25.0 kilojoules. So that takes care of P, and I did not get any X or W along with it. So next I'll move on and look for an equation that has X in it, and I will modify it to be a product. So I find X in the first equation, uh, but it's on the wrong side, so I'm going to have to flip the first equation. So the first equation is going to have Z gas plus Y gas reacting to produce X gas and W gas. So the equation has been flipped, so I also have to flip the change in enthalpy. So this is now going to be a positive 30.0 kilojoules. So that got X on the product side, and it also gave me W on the product side. So I have all my reactants and products in the correct quantities. So now I'm going to see if this nets up to give me the equation I want. So I've got P gas, and that doesn't cancel which is good, I wanted one P unit. Uh, one Z gas is a reactant and it is also a product in one of the equations, so I can cancel one Z gas from both sides. One Y gas, one Y gas, so that can be canceled also from both sides. So I have no other reactants, so that's good and I'm left with my X and W, one of them each, and they are not cancelled. So I've built up the equation I want, so I can solve for the change in enthalpy using Hess's law, and I need to sum up all the enthalpy changes. So minus 25.0 kilojoules plus 30 0.0 kilojoules and I'm left with a positive 5.0 kilojoules as the change in enthalpy for the equation.